So what I want to talk to you about today is your audience. The, that's the very first thing that you want to think about when you do social media marketing. Have a piece of paper ready and write it at the very top. Audience, who are you talking to? Now, does anyone here have an idea of who their audience is? So for me today, I'm focusing on my podcast and, and growing that world. And so for me, it's women, mostly entrepreneur, entrepreneur women or mothers. So who here is a woman? This is easy. Raise your hand. Okay, cool. Who here is a mother? Okay. And who here is an entrepreneur? All right. So here's your audience, right? You might think that this is exactly who you're wanting to talk to. So if you have an audience, if you've narrowed your audience like Heather has, uh, what I want to challenge you with is to go a tiny bit deeper, right? So women is, is you know, that's pretty straightforward. So let's, let's not work on that really quickly. But entrepreneur and mother is not very straightforward. So here you would want to define what kind of entrepreneur she is, your audience member, what kind of an entrepreneur she is. Is she working in large in a large corporation? Is she, re is she a CEO? Is she a solo entrepreneur? Is she local? Is she in other, where, what geographical area does she work in? And mother is also really important to narrow down is because we all know that there's no more controversial topic than being a woman or being a mother. <laughs> so you want to be able to think about where she frequents. Does she does she shop at Target or does she shop at a, a local sweet little boutique? Does, and, and, and the thing is, is that she could do both, right? But it's, you're typing her. You're, you're kind of thinking about where does she most often frequent? And the reason why you want to do this is imagine that a very, the very tip of a mountain, it's your customer and your audience to whom you communicate. And you want to hear buzzwords. You want to create those, we call them keywords. You want keywords, not just for your social media marketing, but also your online website marketing. Sometimes those keywords can be different and that is okay when they are. So make a mental note that your keywords for your website don't necessarily have to be the same keywords for Instagram, for LinkedIn, and for Facebook. Why? Because this one person that you're imagining in your mind behaves differently on all of these different platforms. That, spoiler alert, doesn't make her or you inauthentic it makes her appropriate. And what I mean by appropriate in branding is that, you know, for those of you who don't normally know, or we don't know, you don't know me or you haven't met me, I'm at this moment, I'm in a different space than I usually am, right? Typically, I have a very different background that I would consider is more appropriate for Zoom. Right now, I look like I'm, you know, ready to fix fix getting a mug shot taken because I partied too hard last night, which I did, but I'm, I promise you, I'm not getting a mug shot taken. <laughs> you would, if you didn't know where I am, you wouldn't see that in, in front of me, I'm looking at my entire household piled in every which way in this room because I'm in the middle of a remodel. So it would be inappropriate to show you that right? Because that is not what you want to see. You want to see a composed business professional woman on this setting. Your audience is going to behave appropriately on whatever setting they are. So on Instagram, they're going to be more fun. They're going to be more outgoing. They're going to be more curated, right? They're going to slap a filter on that face because they want to look really, really, really good. That's appropriate for Instagram. On LinkedIn, they're going to share their knowledge. They're going to share their, their why more frequently, their purpose of their business. So this is what she would be doing because you're talking to her on your, on your social media platforms. And this is exactly what you would be doing as well. So that at the very tip of your, of your, of your page is your audience. So Heather then shared with us what she's focusing on. So she said, if you caught that, she talked about her podcast. Now, that is not all Heather does. If you're focusing your audience on one particular thing you're talking about, you want to be able to splice it out, like 
who is this person? What do they do? What do they value? Now you may be doing something else as well. Let's say you have a podcast and you're also a consultant. So then your audience for that consultant conversation might be slightly different. It may still be a woman entrepreneur and a mother, but she might have a, a slightly different focus. So now if she's hiring a consultant, you know that she has a problem. Now you wanna identify what that problem is. What problem is she facing that you specifically can solve? And I don't know why my heart always goes out to our realtor friends. I often struggle with these things like, there's so many of me. And I would say, no, there's not. So realtors need to get to the point where they talk about the experience they're giving the knowledge base they have, not how they're different from somebody else's realtor, how they stand out in the market space. So it's not about comparison and com competition. It's about the experience I'm creating. So that's what and how you do it. How you do what you do. So I'm going to show you my little cheat sheet here. So see the very top? This is your audience. And then we're starting to talk about what you do and how you do it. So in the center is what you do, how you do it, and why. Why your story as to why you're doing what you're doing is probably one of the most important and impactful things you could possibly share on social media, in person, on your site. It is also one of the most challenging things to do. And the reason why it's so challenging is because it feels self-indulgent to many of us. We have this narrative going on. Why? Who, who cares? Why would I say that again? Get comfortable repeating your why. Get comfortable talking about what it is you do, how you do it, and why.